but I think it's more likely that Natsuki didn't harbor any ill feelings towards you. So I think if we were to realistically consider the situation and how it would cause someone to feel, um, I'm bad at this, I'm sorry. You're a lot better than me at things like comforting and reassuring people. Suddenly Sayuri gives Yuri a gentle hug. Um, you're the best Yuri. I'm sorry for burdening you with this. You're trying so hard for me. You're such a sweetheart. I just, it's not a burden. I enjoy listening to others and my friends deserve happiness. Sayuri beams. Well, I think I'm gonna give Natsuki some space. She should do what she wants, and if she does still want to be friends, then I'll learn her needs and I'll match her boundaries. Yeah. I'm sure that's what's for the best. I wish I didn't feel so awful and guilty. It makes me feel desperate, like I need to make it up to her by trying to make her happy. But that's not what she needs. I just have to tell myself that. It hurts, but I guess it means I still need to grow. I really want to grow as a person. If it's to be better for my friends, I want that. That's very mature of you, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> I'm mature. Sayori hops him down on her toes. So, does that mean you'll be going home after all? Sayori shakes her head. I need to be here to show her that I respect her space. I'll just spend time in the club by myself today. Yuri nods understanding. You can go in first. Okay, you're blocking the door. <laughs> oh, Sayori steps aside. By the way, before Yuri enters the club room, Sayori interjects. You said that you and Natsuki are completely different, but I don't really think that's true. I think you're actually really similar in a lot of ways. Yuri smiles and shakes her head. <laughs> Sayori, that's absurd. You're very silly sometimes. Yuri turns and enters the club room. After a moment, Sayori follows. The club room is quiet. When Sayori walks in, Natsuki glances in her direction. Sayori smiles and gives Natsuki a quick wave before sitting down across the room. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Sayori decides it's best to continue the manga she was reading, so she pulls it out. However, it looks like Natsuki isn't reading today. She has a sheet of paper in front of her and is tapping a pen against her desk, staring at it. Oh, are we writing today? Marika speaks in a quiet voice, unwilling to disturb the peace of the club room. She kneels down at Natsuki's desk. H hey! Natsuki pulls the sheet closer to her and covers it with her arms. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to peek. Whatever. I just wanted to see how everything was going. It's fine, Natsuki replies dismissively. She glances over at Sayori, who is focused on her manga. Monica follows Natsuki's gaze. I think she's bad at me. How come? I'm I'm busy right now, ask me later. Monica falls silent, Natsuki looks back down at her paper. She inches her hand away from the top margin, allowing Monica to see it says, to Sayori. Understanding, Monica smiles. She places a hand on Natsuki's shoulder and whispers softly, I'm proud of you. Natsuki looks away but makes no motion to remove Monica's hand. Monica gives Natsuki's shoulder a quick squeeze before standing back up and pulling away. The end of the club meeting passes. Yuri has already departed. So has Monica. After checking on Sayuri and Natsuki to ensure they wouldn't stay too late. Sayuri was determined to finish her manga volume before heading out since the end was approaching. However, with Natsuki also staying late for no known reason, a silent tension hangs in the air. After finishing the volume, Sayuri brings it to the closet to put it away. She slides it back onto the shelf while Natsuki watches. Then Natsuki gets up and pulls it back out in order to return it to its proper location. I'm sorry, I didn't know where it's supposed to go. It's fine. The two fall silent again, avoid eye contact. They both look like they're about to say something, but neither can break the silence. A moment passes. Well, I'll be on my way. See you tomorrow. Um, Sayuri turns away to hide her pained expression, then walks away from the closet. If there was any proof Natsuki no longer wanted to be friends, this was it. Defeated, Sayuri carries herself out of the room. Once in the hallway, Sayuri takes a little deep breath and hits her palms against her cheeks to clear her head a little. Uh, um, suddenly Natsuki's stammering voice calls from behind. Natsuki. Natsuki? Startled Sayori turns back around to face Natsuki. Natsuki fidgets and anxiously continues with a shaking voice. I I have a lot of things to say. Me me too. But you go first. Natsuki bites her lips and can't stay still. Well, first of all, she cuts herself short, struggling to continue. Trying to force the words out, she stamps her foot and hops up and down a little. I'm sorry for the thing I did at lunch, and I'm sorry for just being kind of mean lately. It's really hard for me to like, I mean, I'm not good with things that make me uncomfortable, especially when it comes to like, like feelings and stuff. So face burning, Natsuki clams up again. Instead of continuing, she simply holds up a sheet of paper for Sayori to take. Oh, we get to read this, let's go. The best place in the world. I love my bedroom. It's full of bright colors and soft things. The sunlight shines in and makes everything sparkle. It's the best place in the world. It has all my treasures, all my books, my collections, my memories. All of my dreams were born in this room. 
is the best place in the world. It has all my secrets, all my failures, my fears, my feelings. Sometimes it feels so fragile that the door will break at the slightest touch. But it's still the best place in the world. But when someone knocks, I get scared. I brace my arms against the loose hinges. Please don't break. Don't come in. I'm not ready. It's my best place in the world. The knocking won't stop. I block the door with furniture. An eye peeks through the keyhole and I panic. I'm trapped in the best place in the world. I'm not ready to share my favorite place. I need to clean my secrets and make my bed to hide my nightmares. I need to touch them to put them away, to see them again. I have so much to do and I'm scared. I'm not ready, but it's still my favorite place. I still want to share it. However long it takes, if you wait patiently, I'll eventually open the door and I'll show you the best place in the world. It's a poem. But I thought, well, I sucked it up so that I could work things out with you. So just, just be happy about it. Please? Siri smiles deeply from the bottom of her heart. I'm happier than I could express. I feel so awful, but I'm so happy that you did this for me. I actually realized before the club meeting today that I made a mistake. I got so caught up in the chance to get closer to you that I forgot to think about what you wanted. And that we probably have different ways we like to make friends. Um, about like... Like the friendship stuff. I mean, it's okay. I understand. So you don't have to force yourself to talk about it. Your poem did a good job. So don't force yourself if you're not ready yet, okay? Natsuki nods. You don't have to feel like you did anything wrong. It was my fault and I'm sorry. I wasn't mad at you today or anything like that. I actually felt really guilty and wanted to give you some space. I was thinking it's silly that I just approach you all the time and that I should just let you approach me when you want to. Just whatever makes you comfortable. I respect that from now on. Friendships should always start with those things. With the right balance. Natsuki nods again. One thing about that, huh? Well, I don't want to have to approach you all the time either. I just want it to be balanced like you said. Sayuri nods. I understand. We'll make sure of that together then. Well, anyway, now that the two of them have found common ground, Natsuki finds it easier to speak more freely again. I'm not gonna be, like, sharing my poems all the time now or anything like that, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to do so once in a while. Only the best ones. So you better like them, because otherwise I might change my mind. I like anything you do, Natsuki. I- I was just saying. More importantly, I have to tell you about my new boyfriend. Huh? Oh, f from the manga. Wait, I need to guess who it is. You definitely won't be able to guess. The two walk down the hallway together. <laughs> oh my god, we have so much to talk about. Darren, I should have told you to save the last two chapters so I could see your reaction to the big reveal. Aw, you wanted to enjoy it with me. That's so cute. Aw, oh, shush. <laughs> ah, and that's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. The next day we'll be playing Reflection, and yeah, I hope you guys stick with the series.